okay, this is gonna be a bit strange. This whole video is a bit of a one-trick pony. There's something that I wanted to show to you and... and So anyway, I, I often look at somebody else's pictures and I try to analyze how they were made. How, you know, the composition or the technical elements or, you know, something that catches my attention and then I analyze it and I want to try to replicate it myself. Like, do the same trick in my own photo and then see if I like the outcome. Like, observing, analyzing and then trying it myself. And then if I like the result, it becomes part of my vocabulary and my toolbox. That's how I sort of think I improve my my photography and get new tricks and ideas and all that. Sometimes that happens also by accident. I do something by accident and I love the result. And then I think, how did that accident happen? And can I even amplify the outcome that I like? And then make it, maybe take that part of my, my toolbox. So that happened to me the other day. I took a roll of film and accidentally underexposed one frame. There was one frame that I either measured the light incorrectly or I just set the, the time or aperture wrongly and it was totally underexposed, that one frame. But I liked the picture so I wanted to see if I can make something out of it and I scanned the negative and I took it to the Lightroom and added a lot of light to it and what happened was that it never really got sharp or clean, but as I added light, um, I added also light to the film structure. You follow me? Like the 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 film um, grid and and the surface and and all those things, they also became visible. The the negative was extremely thin. And as I tried to pull out all the elements, all that little light that was rendered on the film, I at the same time also pulled out all the premises and, and film structure and all the dirt. And I kind of liked the result. And I thought, hey, that's an interesting look. And as I analyzed it, I thought, you know, what I like about it is that it really makes the film visible. It's almost like not taking a portrait or not taking a landscape or picture of any subject, but it's almost like taking a picture of a film, like the structure of a film. That's really a backwards idea because for the longest time, film manufacturers and photographers have tried to make the film disappear and and small grain and great range and nuances but I'm going to the opposite direction I want a film to show so then I thought can I replicate that can I do that again so I took a roll of Fomapan film this is good film for experiments as it is fairly cheap and it also has a nice film structure so I thought that if I now want to pull out and emphasize the filmness. Maybe this is a good film. And to go even further, I wanted to actually get parts of the picture fuzzier than normal. Like getting them not only underexposed, but really fuzzy would allow me to pinpoint the film structure. And for that, I used my Graflex RP Series B camera. Now this is a cool camera because it's a medium format camera. Yeah. I put the link up there for those of you who are interested in this camera. I made a video about this earlier. So what I did was that I freelanced. I, I pulled out the lens. And then I tilted it like this. So it tilts upwards, typically upwards, I like, I like that result. And as I take the picture, keeping this lens in my hand and tilting it upwards, I can make it so that there is a focus area in the middle of the film, 
but everything else is blurry. It's a tilt-shift effect that I can do with my lens. And therefore, where the narrow strip of focus is, maybe there I can get something like a real image. But everything else should be even blurrier than usually. And therefore, as I'm planning to underexpose the film, uh, I can then in the post show even more the film structure. You follow me? Like the outcome I wanted to get was a narrow focus thing of the subject and in every other part of the picture it just shows the film structure. I mean that's not for every picture but you know as I said this is a strange video one trick pony and I took pictures like this. Here you have it. <laughs> I love uh, this kind of experiments. <laughs>